Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. Now, I <laughs> must confess, I've always never, well, I've never really recommended um, a laptop for streaming, mainly for the point of with a ministry, I like having a desktop so that it can grow over time. You, you had a laptop, especially newer laptops, you can't upgrade a GPU. You can maybe upgrade the memory and the hard drive, but that's about it. And I like desktops for growth. But with that being said, with all the traveling that I'm doing, helping ministries all over, I ended up getting a laptop a while ago. That was an Acer Nitro 5 that has served me well for four, maybe five years. And now it's going to be serving Ayana, the CEO, very well. I gave it to my daughter. But I needed another system that is going to be good for mobile live streaming platform when I'm doing graduations, like we're getting ready to do Prince George High School again um, for the fourth year in a row, weddings, funerals, remote sessions. Also, I need a very powerful system that can do video editing when I'm on the go, like when I was in London or in Ireland or when we're going to California or Florida next week. I need something that can do all of that stuff and give me the power and not hold me back. And the Nitro 5 was doing well until I started doing a lot more video editing. So we ended up sticking with the Acer and now we have the Acer Nitro 17. Let's go over the specs of this system. This system runs a, a AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS. It has a 17.3 full screen display running at 165 hertz. It is using a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 with six gigabytes of memory. And currently in its stock form, it has 16 gigabytes of DDR5 running at 5600 hertz. It comes with a one terabyte NVMe. And of course it has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth and all the bells and whistles included. So really excited about this. I've already got the system set up because I actually tried to record this yesterday, but my mic died, so I'm recording this all over. Let's go ahead and look at the IO, IO parts <laughs> that come with this thing. Alrighty, so let's punch in a little bit and I think with my desk, I need to turn on some light. Maybe I should get a a white top desk, I don't know. So right now we have on the side here, we have two USB 3.0s. On the back, we have two USB C's. Um, we also have the HDMI out. That's what I have plugged in so you can see. Power on the side, full size ethernet there, another USB 2.0 and a micro SD card slot, which I'm excited about. And we got our multi headphone and microphone mm -hmm jack right there and if we punch out some we also have our i mean there's no reason not to that laptops won't have this anyway but you got our um webcam built in has leds behind the keys which i really do like um and t trackpad and all of standard stuff <laughs> all right so again i've already have this set up so let's actually um turn this light off first and let's go ahead and see, put this thing through its paces. I already have all my other software installed. So I need to actually switch this over and connect. So we're gonna be controlling the ATEM from here. And I do like the fact that I'm actually right here, being able to see. I do need to clean up my space a little bit more. We got a, a bunch of projects. Now, one other thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> It actually also came with a case. I normally always have my laptops in a um, backpack that supports carrying a laptop book bag and stuff like that. So I need to change my super source so that y'all can see what I am doing. And I think we are good to go. So right now we're here on the system. And again, I've already customized it to me. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and just look at some of the specs. I, I really despise all this little stuff that gets installed. Like, I have no idea what this is. Um, that's going to get removed. It's doing stocks and percentages and all this other stuff. I don't want this. And I hate when they, like, hide the way for you to turn this stuff off. Yes, I don't want that. I don't want that at all on my system. So we're gonna have to go through that. But anyway, I got some footage. Hopefully we can edit a little bit with this. Um, let's go ahead and, well, let's look at our task manager so we can just look at the whole system itself. 
let's look at our logical cores. So that's what? That's 16 logical cores. So really cool. Um, like I said, I want to add some more memory. This is my first DDR5 system. So we'll put it through its paces. Um, pretty much not doing anything um, there. And actually, it does have a Radeon as well. A Radeon 78, 780M. I don't know the skill of that, the power of that, but again, we do have dual um, GPUs on here as well too. So I already got the standard stuff, but let's go ahead and put it through its paces. I already have um, OBS set up. Let's go ahead and do a test live stream. Let's go over here to YouTube and let's get it all prepped up. And uh-oh, a new drone. We'll look at that, um, but let's go live. And I do have my Sony hooked up to this with my DJI Mic 2 for audio. Pull this over here. And go ahead and get everything prepped. And we want to push this to this limit. So you see I already got my audio and everything set up on here. Let's go to our settings, our stream. All right. And let's get to going. Let's start streaming. And we want to notice here that, as you can see, we, are, we already did a test with my internet as well as with the system, because I'm using the, um, the RTX 4050 to handle encoding. You can see right now, this thing is running at 10,000 kilobits and not even touching the CPU in any way, shape or form. So I can't really make these changes while I'm here. So, you know, it's see it's locked down. I wanna see if the AMD one has, the GPU has um, hardware encoding on it. Um, actually, never mind, I can actually go back and look at that because we can, no, we can't. Normally you can split um, what the recording and the streaming is using. I'll go back and see if that's an option. I like to, with dual, process, dual GPUs, I like to have the more powerful one handling the live streaming, the encoding, but then the lesser one or the CPU, let that handle the recording locally. So again, this is running our OBS Complete Bundle version three. We got all the bells and whistles with everything running on here. I still have not migrated fixing these timers being off screen. So, I need to update that. So like right here, let's bring this down. Link is down below if you are interested in getting this bundle. We've had over about like a thousand people have used this. So I am very honored that it's actually helped y'all. So we come over here and maybe I can put these side by side so we can see what is going on here. All right, so we can go over to our scenes. We have all of this. We got our Bible lower thirds and everything working. We can turn that on. So we see our lower third there. Again, we're not even cracking 0.2, 0.3. We're not even cracking 1% of the CPU usage at all, which is always a great thing um, from a performance standpoint. Let's go back here. So if I look at CPU, it ain't doing nothing, nothing at all. Um, again, everything is pushed. And even with the GPU, it's at 56%. So that is great from a performance standpoint. Um, we can cite, let's actually go back to our Bible. Let's do Genesis one. And again, we're bringing up all the graphics, everything like that. I did not install NDI yet on here, but if we're not even cracking anything, we're not even at 1%, I don't think this would cause any issues with this. Now, even with this power, I would not run multiple applications at the same time um, with this. So um, really, really nice, really fluid, hasn't really cracked anything, um, not stressing the system in any way, shape or form. All right, so let's go ahead and stop that live stream there. And let's now, let's push it with our um, gaming stuff. I do have 3D Mark on here. Oh, classic for doing stress tests on the system. And let's see which benchmarks we can actually push. Um, 
Let's do Port Royal. This does real-time ray tracing. Let's see what this does. And we're gonna push this thing to the limit. Now, while I'm going through this, there's gonna be a link down below. Acer did not send this. I bought this myself. This is for my company and what I normally do. So um, let me know if you, there's rare, rarely do I test out laptops because I don't buy new computers uh, on a daily basis or a weekly basis or even monthly basis. Um, most of the time I'm upgrading my systems and laptop, like I said, I haven't bought a new laptop in like four or five years. So um, let me know. Um, I will try and review. Maybe I can reach out to a company and specifically talk to them about churches wanting laptops because I understand some of y'all would like to have desktops, but you don't have the space. So I understand that. Now, let's see. Just taking a minute for this to kick off. Now, it did have some antivirus and all this other stuff on here. I remove a lot of that stuff. So I got an error here. I think that was because of the GPU. I don't think there's a way for me to just push it to one, but let's, let's do a stress test instead. Um, and right here, so it's allowing me to pick the GPU. And again, I just got this yesterday, so I don't know if there's some other stuff that's kind of blocking when, what GPU could be used, because sometimes these companies put a whole bunch of extra software that just does stuff that really is not beneficial in any way, shape, or form. Worst case scenario, I'll download a game and push it to its limits. Um, but I think the main thing is I'm going to throw on some quick footage and do like a short um, video editing just to see how long it takes. All of my videos now, I actually record in 4K and I edit in 4K and I upload in 4K um, unless I'm doing a short and I'm just doing something from my phone. But let's see. Yeah, something is blocking me pushing this stuff out and... I don't understand. Let's try this again. I don't know if something is trying to take over the screen, something in the background. Um, this is just one of the other things when you actually build a PC and you install everything yourself, you don't have to worry about this. So I might actually have to come back and test this one. I have no idea why it's doing that. So my apologies, but with everything else, Let's go ahead and change this to extended. Now y'all won't be able to see this part, but we're just gonna go into our presenter. I need to actually get rid of the taskbar there. All right, so I got presenter running right now. And if, when it comes to using your system, um, pretty much live streaming is the most strenuous thing that you're gonna do. So the fact that this system is barely doing 1% in using encoding and all this and is offloading everything, running presentation software should not be an issue. So just going here in presenter, bringing up our screens. Again, no, th this is nothing compared to trying to pull up anything else um, from encoding. So if we go over here, even to pulling a video, Let me go ahead and mute this. So even pulling video from a live stream, I mean, from YouTube through presenter, again, no stress at all. System is not even, if I look at the task manager, um, our system isn't even, with running everything, we're at 16%. Um, so we got more than enough horsepower to do what we need to do. So just going through all of the stuff that we got here, running scripture, running lyrics on top is perfectly fine. So um, now the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and change this back to duplicate the screen so you can see what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and see, do I have some video that we can edit? And I have no idea. Oh yeah, there's the Prince George stuff. So this is when we did graduation um, about three years ago. So maybe we can go in and play around with this and edit this. Let's just see what this can do. I wanna see what it would take from a processing time 
to do some type of editing. Now I am using DaVinci Resolve 18.6, whatever the latest version is. And um, actually, hold on. Did I change my time zone? Okay, good. Um, it always, for whatever reason, always jumps over to Pacific. And I've been using DaVinci Resolve for what? Seven years now. So I'm really thinking this is going to be a good system for on the go stuff is going to be a test because we're going to be going to Tallahassee, Florida um, here on the 19th to help them out. And then this is the system I'm going to hook up to everything at TCF Church that we're going to be working on next week. Hopefully that project should be done pretty soon. And then um, we're going to be heading back to Galilee Baptist Church as well. So now this is brand new. So I have not optimized DaVinci Resolve for the system and all this other fun stuff. So normally it should not be taking this long to come up, but I think that's because it hasn't done anything. Yeah, so there's, I'm gonna skip the optimization for right now. All right, so let's just do a new project. I am going to pull in. Now I also have my um, speed editor um, that I'll probably be taking with me. I need to get more in a habit of using that. But let's go ahead and bring in some video. And that's my old house there. All right, so like here's a football game. Let's see, we're gonna change that. And maybe I should, I should have brought in all of the ones from the principal. No, that's not the principal. Who was it? The um, superintendent? I forgot her title. But let's go ahead and just bring these over real quick and let's see. So scrubbing through here is pretty smooth. If I look here, it's at 1080p 60. That is what my timeline is. So scrubbing through this. It's not causing any type of issues. And I am, like I said, the studio allows me to use some type of AI stuff as well. Um, so let's normalize our audio. And why is that screen jumping like that? Let's change this to full screen. All right. And I keep forgetting I set this up so y'all can actually see it and I can look straight up. So this actually works better. But let's see, let's unmute. And we just want to do a quick edit and just see what it would take to go through here. So let's chop this real quick. All right, so that's Prince George here. Yeah, let me get here right to where she starts. So if we come through here. Welcome, Prince George High School, class of 2021. So again, we can do all of our stuff. Again, it's not struggling at all, which is um, really a good thing. We'll punch in, bring this down. All right, so not to go through this whole thing, but what we want to do is actually just do an excerpt real quick. And I want to see what this would take. Again, this is recorded. And what was this recorded in? Let's look at our specs. See, this was recorded at 1080p. But let's see what how long it will take to record this and render this in 4K. So I'm going to just go with a standard YouTube 4K editing. So this is going to be a encode test and I will just go this to the same drive that it's running on that's why I want to have a secondary drive on this so we'll just do this yes I know it's at a higher so let's see how long this takes to go through all right so it's finished let's cut back over here and look and pretty much it took four minutes now again this is not a big file but the the fact that I was able to do this and then because most of the time it used to be I would wait until I got back to wherever I was to render this stuff and the fact that this is literally on par with my main video editing system at least from a GPU standpoint I have a 4080 
this is a 4050. So for smaller files and being able to edit, this works. Even with the Nitro 5, which was doing well, um, it would lag just here on the, the timeline. So I think that is, um, I'm happy with the performance when it comes to that. And still wasn't able to figure out what's going on with the 3D Mark with my testing. I think it's mainly to do with something with how I have the stuff split. But again, I was able to get this laptop for $950, which with the power, um, I'm happy with. Again, I'm probably gonna add some memory onto it, give it some more space in another hard drive once I open this up. But um, let me know if you want me to do that. I'm, I'm not gonna do that anytime soon because I needed this for the Florida trip and to get some work done. But um, there, there it is. I mean, I don't get a chance to review a lot of laptops uh, because I really don't have options to just buy a bunch of these laptops. I just get them when I need it. And this just happened to be one that I got. Again, this is the Acer Nitro 17. Got mine for 950. Last time I looked, it's going for like 980 now on Amazon. You might be able to get it at a lower price, but I have a link down below if you are interested. And from, if you have to go with a laptop that's doing live streaming and other stuff, and for me, like editing and stuff like that, especially if you have a mobile church, you gotta move stuff around. I am really happy with this because this is the one that I got for that same purpose to do. So um, I think that's about it. Let me know if you have any other questions, other things you want me to test out. Because again, I'm keeping this because this is mine and we'll go from there. But uh, that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And just to let you know, this video was edited on this laptop. So anyway, folks, this is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video. Later.